Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Talks and politics have been trending these days. So here we are with an interesting topic that will make you think twice before you put your details out. For example, did you know your electricity bill is getting used for politics? You heard it right, your electricity bill. Not only that, your ration card, other utility bills, etc. are being used too for the same. Before I begin, quickly go and subscribe to our channel if you still haven't. And if you have, give a big thumbs up after watching this video. And yeah, don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update. So your bills and politics, how are they related? Let's make you understand one step at a time. First, understand this. Every time you pay your utility bills, your information gets stored in the form of data. Like have you saved someone's phone number on your cell phone and it gets stored? In the same way, when you pay your bills, your name, your phone number and address get saved in company storage. Now with a population of 1.44 billion people, imagine the amount of data these companies have been storing. These data are massive. And here, I'm talking about millions and millions of gigabytes of data. And for obvious reasons, these data are called big data. In election season, this big data is sold in the value of gold to the political parties. Shocking, right? But it's a fact. Back in early 2014, the largest data breach on Facebook was the talk of the world. On Tuesday afternoon, our engineering team found an attack affecting up to 50 million accounts on Facebook. A data analytics firm called Cambridge Analytica had once collaborated with Donald Trump's election team. They gathered 50 million Facebook profiles of US voters and used them to construct a powerful software program that predicted and influenced voting choice. Not in a zillion years, I would have imagined the amount of importance names, addresses and phone numbers would have. I mean, we give it away so easily. But these data have now become a business. Using big data, political parties micro-target and analyze their public in terms of the number of first-time voters, the number of non-consistent voters, voters' demographics, voters' caste, and last but not the least, the voters' socio-economic status. For example, what's the number of people that fall below the poverty line and how many people belong above the poverty line? It's the same analytics or strategy used by big companies to sell their products to you. The political parties want to advertise their campaign most efficiently to their voters. Instead of selling products, these political parties use big data to pitch their commitments and services that they will provide in their upcoming political year. I hope you know the ads that you see on their social media account are all targeted ads based on the type of content you see and like. Yeah, they even have access to those. This kind of data helps political parties to strategize their campaign, come up with slogans that would target their voters and even help them select their candidates based on the voters' preferences. Another interesting fact that I've discovered is that in 2019, a conservative ad was run in Canada which targeted Facebook users who fit a certain profile. It was written in Cantonese to warn the Liberals and said legalized marijuana would be next. Another ad was also run for the Liberals that suggested the conservative would remove all gun control. I don't know about you. But knowing all these facts about big data and its use in politics has really made me question the amount of time I want to invest in surfing social media or before filling in my basic details. Big data has become a big deal. From your address to income, to your buying habits, to your social media posts, we cannot stop this. There are even claims that in 2014, Germany used big data to win the FIFA World Cup. If they can use big data for football, just imagine at what length they have been using data analytics in politics. I know there are still some of you who may think that this kind of privacy invasion is not possible. I would ask those people to take a moment today, surf through the reels carefully and pay full attention to it. You'll be surprised to see how much they have invaded your space. That's all for today guys. We'll soon post a video on tips and tricks on how you can save yourself from these privacy vultures and how you can stop them using your data falsely in politics. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe for more such interesting content. Press the bell icon now. Also, let us know in the comment section if you have any topics in mind. We'll make sure to make a video on it. See you again in the next video. This is Varshit signing off. Bye.